of their temptations and then they do the best with their wives, they will be the most satisfied and they won't have any temptations outside. But at the same time, and I'm ranting on the brothers, but at the same time the sisters have to understand this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created men and women very differently. Men, their biggest weakness is women. They could be richer, they could be poor, they could be you know, healthy and not very healthy, you know, skinny and fat or tall, doesn't matter what culture, what language, all of them have the same weakness, women. And women, Allah Azza wa Jal, many, in majority cases, He made them oblivious to this weakness of men. They don't realize how bad it is. So when the ayah comes and a woman reads it, lower their gaze, oh yeah, I could do that. And they're like, what's the big deal? Why can't men just lower their gaze? And you, tell them, you don't understand. What don't I understand? You have eyes, I have eyes, they have retina. You know, it processes the same information. So what's the problem? You see, they're not, they don't understand the power of this desire that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put inside of us and mentioned as number one, Zuyya lil nas hubbu shahawat min al nisa. Number one of the desires that were beautified for men were desires for women. Right? The number one fitna, the Prophet ﷺ fears for the men of this ummah is what? Women. Because it's a serious problem. So the, if the wives understand that, then instead of condemning their husband, why are you so weak? How come you can't control your eyes? Instead of knowing that, they would accept this is the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have to, uh, you, the wife has a role of supporting her husband and becoming strong. And she can do that by warding temptations off from him, not by lecturing him. You know, and, and this is the other thing that's very important for wives to understand. The husband, he goes to the office, or he goes to the train, and there are women horribly dressed, they're sitting there smiling at everybody, trying to, you know, basically this is all these women have in terms of their dignity. They're not respected for their intellect, they're not respected for their opinions, so all they think is we're going to be respected if men see more of our, you know, our shame. So they, they dress in indecent fashion because when men look at them, they feel kind of, you know, self-respect, like I'm worth something, people are looking at me. That's basically what it is, it's really horrible, it's sad. But then they go to the office and the secretary is smiling at you saying, How are you? How was your day? You know, what are you getting for lunch? Oh, you're fasting. Oh, that's nice. You know, and they're, they're smiling at you. And then you go, you know, on every ad, women are smiling at you. And then you get home. And you open the door and I said, Where were you? Oh, the, 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 tra <laughs> the train was late. Oh, every day the train is late. Oh, I understand. You know? And there's a frown every day. And the first day it's okay, the second day it's okay. Ten years of this, twelve years of this, what's gonna happen? The husband has resentment towards the wife, even if he doesn't say anything. He's building resentment inside. And the simple, simple solution of the Messenger wasallam, a smile of the wife when the husband comes home. You know how big a deal this is? This is not a small thing. It stabs the husband when the husband comes home and the wife doesn't care. And you know, he's very disturbed by that. He may not say something, but it really, really hurts husbands. And it hurts the relationship, and it comes out in weird ways. Now that they're hurt, they're kind of upset as they're having dinner. Oh, there's not enough salt in here. You know, there's something wrong. And they're extra angry at the kids, they're frustrated. But the same scenario, the, the wife opens the door and she greets the husband with a smile. Just a smile, it's not expensive. But what happens? The rest of the night goes smoothly. The husband's in a good mood, he's talking to her. When he's talking to her, I, I don't want to talk right now, I have a headache. It's not going to happen. All started from where? Just one little act of the wife. These are simple solutions, but they're powerful solutions. And you don't take care of these solutions, and things, this baggage just keeps adding up and adding up and adding up, and that's where you get those statistics. Because the husband doesn't even want to look at the wife. She's just annoying. You know, she just does this or that, right? So. Both sides have to understand, they have to take care of the other side. Instead of expecting from the other side, just make a goal for yourself to take care of the other side.